This is a map of Canada, the second largest country in the world by landmass. Canada is known for its beautiful scenery, friendly people, and diverse wildlife. But what just happened in Canada has shocked scientists around the world. In a groundbreaking discovery, researchers have uncovered something that could change our understanding of the natural world. The implications of this discovery are huge, and experts are scrambling to understand what it all means. What exactly did they find, and why is it so important? How will this discovery impact the future of science and our planet? Stay with us till the end to find out. Canada is often overlooked, but this second largest country in the world has a lot to offer. From stunning natural landscapes to vibrant cities, Canada has it all. While most of the country is uninhabited due to its unsuitable geography, the livable regions near the United States border are bustling with activity. With 10 provinces and free territories, Canada has a little something for everyone. While the provinces exercise constitutional powers, the federal government rules the territories. Canada's geography is vast and varied. From the chilling influence of its northern latitude to rainforests, cacti, and places where snow rarely falls. With a land area of nearly 10 million square kilometers, Canada dominates the northern portion of the North American continent. Three oceans, the Pacific, Arctic, and Atlantic, border Canada's shores. The country shares an undefended land border of 5,524 miles with the USA on the south and Alaska to the northwest. Because of Canada's enormous size, the mountains easily merge with the gently rolling hills of the interior plains and the Arctic tundra. Canada's diverse physical environment ranges from the quiet coves and beaches of the Atlantic provinces to the fertile grasslands of central Canada's prairies. Numerous lakes dot the rocky cradle of the Canadian Shield, where animals vastly outnumber the people. However, Canada's population is around 31 million, which, considering the vast land area, gives Canada one of the world's lowest population densities of about 8 people per square mile. People worldwide have been drawn to Canada because of its enormous resource base to explore and settle in this land of abundance. Diverse peoples sprinkled throughout the varied landscapes offer a season for Canada's colorful heritage and history. Populated historically with native populations, early cultures could take advantage of Canada's blessing of abundant natural elements. Fish, whales, buffalo, and other forms of wildlife were life-sustaining resources. Numerous water routes eased travel and provided access to the country's interior and additional resources. The cities of Canada are just as impressive as their natural wonders. Toronto, Vancouver, and Montreal are a few vibrant cities offering a unique blend of culture, history, and modernity. Canada is one of the richest nations in the world thanks to its abundance of natural resources. With abundant minerals, oil, and gas, Canada is a major energy-producing superpower of the 21st century. The prairie provinces of Alberta, in particular, is home to some of the American continent's greatest oil and natural gas deposits. Canada also has the world's greatest proven oil sands or bitumen reserves. This fact and traditional petroleum reserves solidify Canada's position as the world's second most oil-rich nation, behind only Saudi Arabia. Furthermore, mineral deposits can be found in almost every province and territory of Canada except for Prince Edward Island. The types of minerals mined vary from province to country, with zinc being one of the leading minerals mined throughout most of the country. Potash, uranium, nickel, copper, iron, coal, gold, and diamonds are plentiful throughout Canada. Canada also uses six different time zones, and they're more than just named after directions like north, south, east, and west. Nope, they've got some unique names like Newfoundland, Atlantic, Eastern, Central, Mountain, and Pacific. Daylight Saving Time DST, also plays a role in Canadian timekeeping, and if you're wondering what the names of the time zones are during DST, they change too. For example, Eastern Standard Time EST, becomes Eastern Daylight Time EDT. But there's even more. Some areas in Canada need to observe DST, so if you're in Fort St. John, Charlie Lake, Taylor, Dawson Creek in British Columbia, Creston in the East Kootenays, or most of Saskatchewan, except Denari Beach and Crichton, you don't have to worry about changing your clocks twice a year. Let's take a closer look at the land features of Canada. 
Canada's land features are genuinely awe-inspiring. From the frosty tundras of the north to the lush Great Lakes region, this great country is home to six major landform regions. Each region offers unique beauty and topography that has evolved over millions of years. The Atlantic Provinces region, beginning in the east, is home to undulating hills and valleys with dispersed farms and fruit orchards. New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, and Newfoundland are all part of this charming patchwork of lush terrain, except when deep fog creeps in from the sea to shroud the bays and beaches, which happens more than 200 days per year in certain villages in Newfoundland. Broad vistas of woods and rocky, indented coastlines are visible. The rocky, lake-dotted physical environment of the Canadian Shield, the heart of the North American continent, is west of the Atlantic Maritimes. The Shield, which covers more than half of the country's area, is rich in natural resources. It is rich in minerals, such as iron and nickel, has enormous water power potential, and is home to one of the world's greatest uninterrupted stretches of forest. Most travel in the Shield region must be done by air, putting Canada's legendary bush pilots and their robust workhorse planes to the test. In the Great Lakes, St. Lawrence Lowlands region, you will find the world's largest body of freshwater, the Five Great Lakes, which are linked to the Atlantic Ocean by the St. Lawrence River. The Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Rivers stay ice-free for much of the year, providing this landlocked area access to the Atlantic Ocean and other parts of the world. There are several towns and cities in this very small area, including Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, and Quebec City. It is the most southerly in Canada near Canada's border with the United States. Milder weather, plenty of level terrain, good soils, and easy access to the St. Lawrence River first drew people to this narrow zone. The Canadian Shield to the east and the Canadian Rockies to the west border the vast expanse of virtually flat grassland that makes up the interior plains. This region's grasslands are home to buffalo, antelope, and coyotes, providing a wealth of resources for farmers and ranchers. Ancient Lake Agassiz, formed from glacial melt, covered parts of Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario, and North Dakota. The sediment left behind formed the rich soil that has supported agriculture in the region. In the Cordillera Pacific region, stretching from the Yukon in the north to the U.S. border in the south, you will find rugged mountains, vast forests, and sparkling rivers. This region is famous for its national parks, including Banff and Jasper, which attract millions of visitors annually. The Canadian Rockies in this region offer a variety of recreational activities, such as hiking, skiing, and whitewater rafting. Finally, the land is treeless in the Arctic North, and the tundra stretches to the horizon. The Inuit people live in the Arctic North and have done so for many years in peace with the environment. Polar bears, walruses, and seals are among the animals that thrive in this region. So what shocked scientists in this breathtaking country? According to a long-term study by a research team affiliated with the University of Alaska Fairbanks, the hot summers triggered rapid thawing at 150-240% to 240 above the average rate between 1979-2000. to 2000. The study, conducted between 2003 and 2016, observed three sites. The results are staggering. This means that the permafrost in the Canadian Arctic is thawing at an alarming rate shocking scientists who expected it to happen 70 years later than it did. Bill Cable, a study co-author, says the researchers were surprised to see how much the landscape had been transformed. He also notes that the permafrost is less stable than people once thought. The study's geophysics professor, Vladimir E. Romanovsky, tells Reuters that it's an indication that the climate is now hotter than at any time in the last 5,000 or more years. This won't be the first study to show the Earth's climate changes faster than expected. A recent published study by the journal Science found that ocean temperatures have increased much more quickly than previously anticipated by researchers since the 1950s. While Cable is skeptical that anything can be done to reverse the effects of what has already happened to the Canadian Arctic permafrost, he is hopeful that citizens of the world can make positive changes moving forward to protect the planet. This discovery is particularly alarming because the stability of permafrost is crucial to the planet's health. The risk of rapid thawing could release vast quantities of heat-trapping gases, unleashing a feedback loop that would fuel even faster temperature rises. This news reinforces the imperative to cut emissions and decarbonize our economies immediately. According to Jennifer Morgan, Executive Director of Greenpeace International, 
thawing permafrost is one of the tipping points for climate breakdown, and it's happening before our very eyes. If you like this video, remember to smash that subscribe button and check out the following video we've already prepared for you on your screen.